In our health cast today, the use of semaglutide drugs, things like Ozempic and Wagovi, don't appear to be associated with any kind of a higher risk of thinking about suicide compared to any other medications for weight loss. Researchers looked at 100 million patient records backed by the National Institutes of Health, and according to their findings, six months after starting the meds, people taking the drug to lose weight had a 73% lower risk of first-time suicidal thoughts and a 56% lower risk of recurrent suicidal thoughts. For people with type 2 diabetes, the reductions were 64 and 49% respectively. The lower risks were also observed three years out from taking the medications. And these findings come just days after the FDA said it was going to review reports of suicidal thoughts among people using semaglutides and similar medications. And seasonal virus activity is surging across the U.S., and some health experts expect even bigger bumps as we continue to move through January. Two-thirds of states, including Florida, are reporting flu activity that's high or very high and accelerating. So far, there are 7 million confirmed illnesses, 73,000 hospitalizations, and 4,500 deaths all related to flu this season. Nationally, CDC data shows COVID-19 levels in wastewater are higher than they were this time last year in every region. It's typical that we see a surge in these viruses at this time of year, although it does seem to be a bit more this year than in years past. RSV activity, by the way, showing signs of slowing in some parts of the U.S., but hospitalization rates are still elevated. Overall, young children as well as older adults are the